hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome hope you're doing awesome so in this video i'm going to be showing you how i prep and stretch out my braiding hair for for boss braid for crochet braid for any kind of braid so in those videos i really not show every details on the on the on how i prep the hair so this video is specific for that so if you're using expression braided hair, after removing the hair from the pack, you want to go ahead and uh, measure the length you want. If you you can cut it into two, into three, into four. So once you measure the length you want, you want to go ahead and cut it. So after cutting the length, after <laughs> after cutting the hair, you want to go ahead and pull one hand one end of the hair just like that, as I did in this video, and position it. And after that, you want to go ahead and pull a little bit of hair at a time, just like this hold on yeah just want to go ahead and pull tiny piece of hair at a time so if you want the length to be longer you want to go a bit longer or thinner you can go longer but if you want it to be shorter and like a thick end you want to stop right there I mean, it depends on the length you want you want to stop like midway just right there for me i want the i want extra length for the buzz braid and i want the ends to be thin for this uh braid for the um braid style so right there that's why i went a bit longer for the uh, for the length so once you make a decision on how you want the length to be and how thick you want the, the thing the end to be you can go ahead and continue pulling tiny piece of hair at a time until you're done pulling the whole hair through so at this point the bottom part will be puffy and kind of tangled but don't worry we're gonna fix that in a minute so once you're done pulling all the hair out so you want to go ahead and position your hand on the middle parts and make sure the both ends of the hair are even on the bottom part just uh, hold on smooth it out just like that and make sure the bottom part is even so once that is done before going ahead to comb the hair i like to um re kind of re-stretch out can also help to uh, smooth out the uh, hair a bit more so right here i'm going ahead to move small piece of hair to the other hand so i'm going to continue doing that until i move all the hair to the other side of my uh, hand so this will help to smooth out the hair and also make the combing parts easier for you to comb and also will help to um the um reduce the shedding of the hair when it's time to comb the hair so you want to keep doing that until you move the whole hair the the, the whole hair from one hand to the other to the other hand so you just keep doing that So once that is done, for the next part right here, you can see right there, there's a lot of frizz right there. So to undo that, I'm going to put my hand through and just grab this hair and pull it through the bottom just like that. Just gently pull it through and then place it back on the, place it back well onto the hair position. Make sure it's on the middle side, make sure it's also well even. So that will reduce the shedding of the, on the hair too. Yep. So once that is done, you're ready to comb the hair and this will be easy. This step will be way easier than just going straight to comb the hair after pulling on the ends of the hair. So to comb the hair, you want to make sure to hold on to the, uh, to the, to the middle real tight, just as I did in this video. And start combing from the bottom if you have like a long hair as, I, as this one in this video. You want to start combing the hair from the bottom and doing that using a wide, uh, a wide uh, tooth comb. So once you're done combing the hair, you want to go ahead and set it aside and uh, repeat the same thing on the rest of the hair. So once you're done doing that, you're pretty much ready to go, ready to do your protective hairstyle. So here is the finished result. This is the unstretched one versus the stretched uh, one right here. And uh, here is the uh, hairstyle I did with the, uh, with the hair. This is the finished result right here and also the video to this hairstyle will be in the description box in a few hours so be sure to check it out so thank you guys so much for watching if you're subscribed thank you so much for subscribing if you're new please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below thank you guys so much for watching and uh, i'll see you in my next one